OK, so let's say we wanted to fully expand x plus 5 over x to the power of 5. So first thing we really want to do is write out Pascal's triangle. So we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, and 1, 5, 10, uh, 10, sorry, 5, 1. OK, that's the row that we want, OK, because we're looking at the uh, power of 5. So we're going to have something times something times something, and this is going to be 1 plus something times something times something, that's going to be 5, plus something times something times something, plus something times something times something. There's another 10 and a 10, something times something times something, there's your 5, and then the final row. So we've got 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1 down there. OK, now my job is to fill out the rest. So we're going to have x, 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 x. And here we're going to have 5 over x, 5 over x. Make sure it's in a bracket. 5 over x, 5 over x, 5 over x, and 5 over x. OK, now uh, let's have this one decreasing in power. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And so we're going to have 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And now my job is just to multiply this out and simplify. So for this first term, we've got 1 times x to the 5 times 5 over x to the 0. Well, that's just going to be 1. So we're just going to have x to the 5. Now for the next term, we've got 5 times x to the 4 times 5 over x. Now, that x there will cancel with one of the x's there. So we'll have an x cubed. We've got 5 times 5, so that's 25 x cubed. For this term, we've got 10 times x cubed times 5 over x squared. So that's 25 over x squared. Now, the x squared here will cancel with the x squared that's in there. So we'll be left with just an x. x cubed divided by x squared is just x. So we've got 10 times 5 squared, so 10 times 25 is 250x. For this term, we've got 10 times x squared times 5 cubed over x. So, uh, sorry, 5 over x all cubed. So we're going to have x cubed there. So x squared divided by x cubed is um, x to the minus 1. Now 5 cubed... 5 fives are, are 25, times 5 is 125. So 125 times 10 is 1,250, and we'll have x to the minus 1. Now here we've got 5 times x times uh, 5 over x to the power of 4. So we'll have x to the 4 in the bottom here. x to the 1 divided by x to the 4 is x to the minus 3. So we'll have something x to the minus 3. <clears throat> now, 5 to the power of 4, well, 5 cubed was 125, 5 to the power of 4 is 625, so 625 times 5, don't know that one off the top of my head, so a little bit of long multiplication, 5 fives are 25, 2 fives are 10, plus the 2 is 12, 6 fives are 30, plus the 1 is 31, so 3, 1, 2, 5. And then finally, uh, we've got 1 times x to the 0, which is just 1, times 5 over x to the power of 5. Now, uh, x to the power of 5 there, so 1 over x to the 5 is x to the minus 5. And we're going to have that 5 to the power of 5. Now, we just worked out what 5 to the power of 4 was times 5 is 3, 1, 2, 5. So this is going to be 3, 1, 2, 5 as well. OK. Notice how the uh, powers of x here are going down by 2 each time, OK? So you can follow that pattern through. So really the most complicated bit here is once you see the pattern, is really to make sure uh, that you're getting the numeracy bit right, OK? So make sure you've got long multiplication in the bag just in case it's required.